couple times with triple covers. Yeah, um, and again, he's good. I mean, you see it though part of the game. And he's, uh, you know, in, is it Burr? Is it, is it Burr Bridge? How he says it? Yes, yeah. I right. I mean, he's made a bunch of great plays for him, but some of the plays the last few weeks, the shelf in the middle, like unbelievably covered. You know, his ability to, you know, I mean, he he throws to quote covered receivers that have a reasonably tight coverage, but he puts the ball where he gives this guy a chance. And you know, if you were to, if you were to talk to a, a pro scout or a pro coach, they would talk about uh, challenge throws. And when the guy's really getting challenged, the ability not just to throw at the guy, but put it where his player can make a play. He's got he's got some guys. I think one of the differences in the game, they had some receivers that made a few one on one plays that we didn't quite come down with. We made a, a few passing plays that were good, but the, the maturity of their receivers and physical strength, uh, they made a few more competitive plays. Connor puts it in a great place. His receivers have matured and done a great, great job for him. Coach, three or four Big Ten games you were in right to the end, I guess. Can you kind of measure the state of mind of your guys right now? It's got to be kind of disappointing after so many almosts. Yeah, you know, my thing is 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 um, that we just got to have just a little powwow uh, with them in a non-negative way. Is that uh, we play a lot. I mean, we've had what number one and number four and four four. And playing pretty good football. And if you didn't know the teams were just watching guys play, it's okay, which one's make playing the best right here? And there's you're seeing a lot of good football. And so unfortunately tonight, uh, defense finally wore down. Uh, our no huddle offense has nothing to do with them being seven of ten on third downs in the first half. We were three of five. So we weren't stopping ourselves. We got in the first half we got stopped in the monsoon. I thought we actually managed that pretty good, because that was kind of hard. Uh, we over, our defense overcame a pick and held them uh, early. You know, when we, we had the pick on the first play, which was a challenge play, and Rick was trying to get it and didn't quite get it, and the ball popped up. Um, and we had a third down pass across midfield. So, you know, our, our, our defense wears out because they don't get third down stops. And it's two games in a row. These guys were 13 to 20. Uh, like I said, it was 7 to 10 in the first half, and to me, it just kind of wears you down. Um, and, uh, like I said, I thought we actually executed offensively reasonably good against a very, very, very structurally sound, well-coached, very talented defense. And this defense, they don't give up a lot of yards to anybody. I mean, it's hard to get out of the room during the game those guys because they, they make the play of claws and they play great defense. So I thought we had a good plan offensively. I thought we worked it pretty good. I thought our kids battled their tails off. Our inability to get them on the schedule or to get third down stops or Connor's ability to put the ball or some guys make some great plays, got them on top, and at the end, the dam finally broke, and I'm just disappointed with the way it looks with those two late runs and the, and the kicking blunders makes it look worse than it was, because I really felt our kids battled. I'm not into moral victories, but I like the way, I think it shows we're gaining it all as far as just, we're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with some pretty good teams, and we're kind of looking at me out going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, so not into moral victories. I'm not trying to justify anything. We need to win, and that's what we talk about after the game. We need to learn to close close games, finish close games, close it out, and we need to win. We're going to expect to try as hard as we can down the stretch. Uh, I guess to kind of go along with some of that, um, right here. sorry. Um, there was a, about a month ago, it was a three game stretch, I think, uh, Western Kentucky, Wake Forest, Ohio State. You guys were doing really well on third downs, and keeping them on the schedule, getting off the field. Maybe one, two over the last few weeks. That just uh, yeah, you know, and it's a great quick. I'm today looking at it. Well, first of all, you know, uh, our defensive back, Andre Brown, had a birthday Thursday, and he turned 18. And he was already had seven Big Ten starts as a 17 year old. And I'm out there watching Cook and Crawford, and I said, and then Tyler Green's playing. Andre Brown's going to, I think, some of those freshman guys that hit the wall with the ability to make some of those plays in the ball just with strength level and maturity. So this week comes at a pretty good time because we got to get some guys um, fresh. I don't think we're over practicing, but I think some of those many young guys have had to play kind of worn out a little bit. I think as coaches, we're trying to figure out do you, if you bring them all, you put them on island. If you bring them all, all you better get home. It was there was one time that we blitz six and they had eight seconds. That's not good. And uh, at the same time too, we we can still create some pressure with three and four man folks. I mean, we've got to get our D line to affect the quarterback. We had four sacks on Connor. Uh, till the end, we played pretty good run defense till the last few at the end, we let get away. So there's a lot of things built on, but I think a part of our problem outside of maybe we are predictable, people are working us, and we got to look at that. 
which would be something we'll look at at open data. Are we getting predictable and getting in coverages where we can get worked? And, and so we will examine ourselves. But I think we've also defensively worn down a little bit with some of those young kids and not making shoes. I just think we kind of hit that little worn out wall. <clears throat>